Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Stephen Hodge of Hartford. Hello and God bless you. This is Stephen Hodge again, and I'd like to thank you all for tuning in once again to the Bread of Life broadcast. Well, I am going back into the lesson that we initiated yesterday entitled Living in a Foreign Land. Jeremiah 29 verses 4 through 11 is the text that we've been using. I'd like to read, but I'm not going to read all of it. I think I'll read verses 4 through 7, and then I'll jump over to verse 11. And it reads, Jeremiah 29, starting at verse number 4, it says, This is, New International Version, This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says to all those I carried into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon. God says, Build houses and settle down. Plant gardens and eat what they produce. Marry and have sons and daughters. Find wives for your sons and give your daughters in marriage so that they too may have sons and daughters. Increase in number there. Do not decrease. Also, seek the peace of peace and prosperity of the city to which I have carried you into exile. Pray to the Lord for it because if it prospers, you too will prosper. Verse number 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and the future. This is a very familiar passage of Scripture that many of us know about, and I just want to kind of bring another perspective and uh, truth to, uh, to this particular text. And as we're talking about living in a foreign land, of course, they were dealing with actually physically living in a different country. They, their home base, of course, is Jerusalem, but they have been carried away captive into Babylon. And the purpose of this aim of, of the lesson really is to reveal the supernatural plan of God to live at peace in a stressful time. And so as a result of the people of God, children of Israel, um, uh, being uh, exiled from their homeland of Jerusalem into Babylon, they are experiencing a stressful time. They're away from their homeland. They're away from what is familiar. They're dealing with something that is totally different. And so it is a foreign place for them. We, too, today, uh, even in our nation and even the nations of the world, uh, perhaps we're not being transported from our homeland to another land, but we're really dealing with foreign situations, and particularly this foreign thing called the coronavirus. And so because it is a foreign thing, then we, we need to really learn how to navigate it. And I believe that God gives us a plan to live in peace in spite of the stressful day and times that we're living in. So... When we look at the text there, we see that Jeremiah is now delivering a divine letter with a divine message. What do I mean by that? Of course, God now is speaking to his people. And I need everyone to understand that even though times may be difficult and times may be strange and we may be dealing with foreign things, things that we've never faced before, things that we've never seen before, perhaps in our generations, we may have heard of other generations having difficulty in dealing with with different things. But in our current generation, many of us have never seen anything like this before. So it is a strange place or, if you will, a strange land. And we, we have to know and learn how to navigate this. But I, I want to share with you this, that if as, as the people of God, when you and I belong to the Lord and, and we're the ones, the ecclesia, the church, the one who's been called out, we are the believers. I, I, I need for everyone to get this and hold on to this tightly, that even in difficult times, God may prepare permit things to happen as a, res as a consequence to our behavior because we may have you know, we have may we may not have obeyed God fully. We may have become rebellious in some things. I also need for us to understand, even in the midst of our rebellion, God does not reject us. And here's what I mean: that he, we still we're still His. We still belong to Him. He still loves us. But many times we're dealing with his, the consequences of our actions. And God reminds us that I'm still your God. That I still love you. And watch this: God will send. Watch this: a divine letter, if you will, a divine message 
to us to let us know, I've not left you, I'm still with you, and your day of the consequence, I'm going to overturn. Your day of judgment shall be overturned. And he lets us know that. You know, there's one passage that I love what Jesus says. He says, Lo, I'm with you, t- talking to his disciples. Lo, I'm with you always, even to the ends of the age. This was, it was when he was pre- prepared to depart and go back to heaven to be with the Father. And so I just want every one of, of us to understand that though we may be experiencing difficult times, God did not leave us. In fact, he will send us divine a divine message <laughs> to let us know what his plans are. Stay tuned. Tune in tomorrow. We've got more information to share with you on the strategies of navigating difficult times. God bless you, and may grace be unto you. You've been listening to Pastor Stephen Hodge of Hartford, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.